Hey guys, and today I'm here with the top 5 exposed installer apps that I have on my phone and which I'd like you guys to try. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The very first app we're going to talk about is called Instagram Thema. It's not a very heavy app. You can eventually theme your Instagram by replacing the signature violet color or the dark blue color that you have uh, which I'll just show you. So as soon as you enter the app you see this interface and from here you can select the color that you want. This is the original color on the left that we have as the Instagram's theme and uh, on the right we have the color that we would like to you know change. And down here we can change the saturation, the value and the opacity of the color. And the lesser the opacity the more transparent it is so that's quite understood. And you can then simply hit preview and the bar on the top would get changed to the color what will get applied on your Instagram. So just simply hit apply and it will say Instagram color changed. So that's when you go back and uh, enter the Instagram app and here you can see that the entire you know the signature color of Instagram has completely changed the names of people have changed the bar on the top has changed the main button down here has also changed the color has changed the underlined button names uh, numbers hashtags more or less everything that really has your purple color or the violet color whatever you call it the Instagram theme color has basically been replaced with the color that you have chosen. so that's what I really like about it it's nothing much. The second app we're going to talk about is called X Stana. This actually helps you customize your nav bar and your status bar. So it's actually free, but you can also get the prime version that would obviously get you more features and uh, more styles of nav bars and uh, status bars. So as you can see over here, as uh, we go through the status bars, we have various options to choose from AOSP KitKat, AOSP L, Sense. G3 Experience that's from the Xperia, the Galaxy from Samsung, iStyle these are different ones, MI5 from MIUI ROM, ColorOS, Mi 6, Bipop and uh, a few of them as you can see on the left top corner it says Prime and uh, these are the ones that you actually have to pay for so I'll just apply the AOSP KitKat one and uh, also I'll change the map bar so as you can see we have the uh, AOSP L preview, L concept, Sense from HTC, G3, Moto and various more and uh, the best ones obviously we have to pay for them Geometry, I really personally like this one and uh, I'd like to get a crack APK of this application just for this because I really like the way it's really there, it's pretty minimal there are many many more as you can see here in the menu as well they've got a lot of uh, you know themes for your nav bar there are not so many for your status bars so i'll just apply this one scully from the skull candy as you can see and i'll just hit the tick button right here and it says please reboot to apply changes then you simply hit reboot and even a soft reboot will do because it just has to refresh the device Now one more drawback that I'd like to point out about the free version of this app uh, is that whenever you apply the nav bar, the home button that you have will turn to red. So if you don't like it, you have to buy the prime version and uh, actually these are set and fully working now. We have the Google, we have access to our recent tray and all and the back button and the status bar on top has also changed. Nothing much inside but only the appearance has changed. It's it has become just like the KitKat ones and uh, nothing much just going a little deeper into the app so you have all these things to choose from for like the icon theme that you want you can add battery, headset more or less all are for Prime and only the battery is the one that you can use for uh, in the free version and the small spacing can also be done and uh, this is actually the spacing between the icons over here if you want them to be spaced closer then that looks even better so you need to reboot to apply those changes as well 
you have various settings over here not much but only prime settings and uh, the color settings you can actually change the colors of these but uh, the middle one should stay red according to me and uh, that's about it inside the app the third app we're going to talk about is called gravity box i actually don't use this on my oneplus one uh, because box gravity packs all those features that cyanogen mod has to offer starting from the lock screen to the status bar navigation bar pie controls like these and, and uh, then we have power tweaks display tweaks phone phone tweaks media navigation keys and a lot more this app is basically endless so uh, speaking about this app right now would really make the video very very long but we'll just go through a quick just in the lock screen menu we can actually change the transparency of the background and also change the default app shortcuts and uh, we can enable the rotation of the lock screen for example it can uh, go in landscape mode and all and it is actually pretty funky it's pretty cool if you're not using a cyanogen mod phone cuz you can enjoy all these features only when you're not running on a cuz cyanogen mod already packs all these features inside its rom and uh, if you really want to get cyanogen mod only for these features then i'd recommend you guys to get this app instead of really getting the cyanogen mod version and similarly we have the status bar tweaks we can change the color of each and every app and symbol separately and also uh, get the brightness control on any device like we have it on the oneplus one over here and let me just turn it down a bit and then we can also change the notification light color if your phone supports all that then in navigation bar we have various tweaks over there as well we have some master switch that actually just switches on the navigation bars on your phone if you don't have them then in the navigation bar you have various options uh you can simply change whatever nav bar you want on each and every place and what shortcut you want over here as you swipe up you can interchange the buttons you can put the back one the back button here the home button here and the recents in the middle you can do whatever you want and also change the theme or what you can say the buttons and uh, also apply your custom pictures on that so that is pretty nice and then you can get power controls like i told you power tweaks are the ones that will help you get more options in your uh, power menu then we have display tweaks that's the brightness mode the expanded desktop is where your status bar and your nav bar are not visible and you have to swipe from the top or the bottom to actually get the nav bar and the status bar if you also don't have a transparent status bar you can obviously make it transparent using this then you have various phone tweaks media tweaks navigation key actions application launcher screen recording the screen cast which is usually not supported by phones but in case of the oneplus one it's already there then you have various miscellaneous tweaks that cannot be actually you know classified in those categories so we have uh, the clear visible only panel the navigation panel which will allow us to make the nav bar transparent instead of the black back and uh, then we can adjust the top and bottom margin of your navigation and the status bar you can actually turn it down or broaden it up then you have your head headphone plug in or plug out action uh, it means that whenever you plug the headphone in whatever app you've chosen will simply just pop up and uh, force ltr direction also there in your developer option so nothing much over there and uh, that's pretty much very very basic about this app and it's actually pretty deep app so if you want to check it out i'll give its link down in the description cuz making a video separately on that will also make it a very very long video the fourth app we're going to talk about is called xui mod or zui mod whatever you want to call it and even this contains various mods that you basically see on your phone for example these list view mods like whenever i scroll down the animation that you know gets the name right there the option so you have various clock mods that uh, you can enable so you can enable the seconds in your clock on the top uh, you need to reboot to apply these changes then you can have a bold clock the font of the clock will get bold 
use HTML, this is actually pretty useless. Nobody really likes it. Then you can change the clock size, the font, and also restart the system if you don't really want to reboot your device. Then we have a battery bar mod, which a battery bar comes right on the top and it basically displays the battery that your phone is left with and it should show some kind of bar right here on top uh, a, a very very thin line that should indicate the amount of battery that's left in the phone and you can touch animate charging which will do nothing much but pixels will come from the right and stick to the bar that will indicate that it's charging you can adjust the height color and etc of the bar, even the bar position, you can either get it on your nav bar, over the nav bar, or under the nav bar, or over the on the top, uh, over the status bar, or under the status bar. Then we have notification mods, changing the notification light and uh, the pulse rate. Then list view animation is the one that I was talking about. This right. is the test list view, and here is where you can see what uh, your custom animation looks like. So this is how it looks everywhere right now. You have various animations to choose for, for example, fold. And uh, you can see that it comes up like this. I didn't like it, that's why I didn't put it up. That's pretty obvious. So I'll get it back to scale. And uh, you can choose the interpolator of the app, what type you want it to be for like overshoot. It will actually go, it will actually overdo the animation and then get back. So it creates like a wave or something, it looks pretty beautiful and uh, nothing much in this. You can also blacklist apps that will not undergo any kind of animation. Then you have system animations, for example this animation that really happens while switching to Google Play or the animation that comes when you switch from app to app, for example this animation that just came, this animation. Then we have IME animations, these are nothing much but your keyboard animations that you like to customize the way your keyboard comes up. For example, I'll just try one and increase the time. So you can see the keyboard came in from the right. So that's how you have various kinds of animations that, that you can choose from. And then similarly you have your toast animation. Toast information is the one that really comes, like comes here. For example, I'll just test. So this is a toast animation and you can simply turn it on right here and select the kind of animation that you want. For example, you have the Toko ROM toast animation for coming in and Xylon for going out just as uh, an example. And when you touch this, it should really animate the way it does on the respective ROMs that we have selected. So you can see the way it exits and enters. Then we have lock screen mods, scrolling mods and other mods that we also had on gravity box. So nothing much about that. And the last and the final thing that I have over here is called Greenify. Everybody knows about this app by now. And uh, this is not only an exposure installer app but it's also available on the Google Play. This actually helps me put my running apps, uh, the apps that are running and my background to sleep. And uh, they'll wake up only when I go to these apps so this basically helps me save a lot of battery as soon as I've got this app I've uh, seen a huge increase in my SOT the screen on time of my phone and uh, it has really gone up to around half an hour more or I'd say 45 minutes more which is pretty good and you can simply uh, touch the plus button and uh, it will suggest you the apps that are running in the background and the ones that may slow down the device so you can simply touch them and uh, Touch the tick mark that will put them to sleep and uh, long touch one and touch the X mark to exit out and then simply touch the Z signs and it will make them sleep and this will also help your device be as smooth as it was on the very first day you got it because it will reduce the burden on the RAM and it will really really help your phone to be even more buttery smooth. So that's it guys, you have it here. These are my top 5 exposed installer apps that I have on my phone and I'd like you guys to try. So try these apps and tell me down in the description how you really find them. And if you like more apps to be reviewed or any games to be reviewed, do list them down in the comments or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or where and wherever you want. 
and you can simply have a conversation with me and tell me what video you want next it's as simple as that so that's it for this video guys i'll see you next time till then see ya